Jana, you have worked in television for many years. For people who aren't familiar with your work, let's start about how you got into this and what led you to becoming president and CEO of NGTV. I was on, on the Greek uh, uh, English language news division of Antenna. I was hosting English language news. I was writing. We were. I was doing the uh, primetime news for the, that division of Antenna Satellite. I was on Pro Cafe uh, since 1994. My career evolved into just co-hosting and hosting various things as my Greek got better and thereafter went back to college to get seriously more involved in the media world because I invested so much time in media that I wanted to get my second degree so I can continue uh, that profession at a more, um, on, a, on another level. And so then went on to work with ERT uh, Satellite. I did the first English language show for National Greek Television ERT. It was called Hellenic Weekly, where we reported news, we reported uh, what was happening in Greece, in uh, Opsin to the the Olympic Games. And thereafter, I was very um, honored to have been invited to co-host the opening and closing ceremony of the Athens Olympic Games as a master of ceremonies. I did 80 documentaries on Greece, uh, advertising Greece abroad through ERT. I'm happy to have uh, been the pioneer in the English language uh, space about Greece abroad. I've had a great career as well, modeling. I was very fortunate to have worked with all the designers. I did a lot of catalog and also runway. I walked the runway for amazing designers. So it was a an amazing, wonderful, uh, era for me. I was on TV every day. I was very lucky, but my parents were like, it's time for you to come home. You know, I'm, a, I'm born and raised New Yorker of Greek uh, background. I thought, you know what, I'll go back for a little bit. You know, I'll stay and I'll come back to Greece. I was trying to do the Greek, you know, in America thing, but ended up staying in America because I was offered an opportunity to be a, a partner in a, in a Greek uh, American television channel, the only Greek American television channel in the United States. Uh, and so it was a great opportunity to continue preserving and pr pr promoting Hellenism in America and Canada. And I, I kind of just fit right into that role. Over the years, you have been highly centered on holistic wellness and original medicine. What draws you to this area? I think the future of the world is alternative integrative medicine and nutrition. So I decided to go back for my PhD in, um, in naturopathic medicine. Uh, so I'm finishing uh, a, a, my doctorate in naturopathy. So I'll, have a, I'll be a doctor, a naturopathic doctor and my PhD in original medicine, which is the Hippocratico. It is the original medicine prior to pharmaceuticals. So it is, that's why they call it original medicine. It's all under the umbrella of medicine because uh, medicine is only one thing. And new medicine, uh, new generation medicine was conventional medicine, which has to do with pharmaceuticals. And prior to the pharmaceuticals entering the space and of course excel excelling in, in certain surgical uh, practices, it was a healing through homeopathy. And so uh, they're all necessary. We need preventive medicine, which is what I do in, to prevent and keep you well. And then we do need conventional medicine, of course, to fight any crisis or any in imbalances, of course, in the system and bacteria and viruses and so forth. So during COVID, I found it very interesting that this is the this is where I believe the world is going towards, you know, that is health and wellness. It's a very big part of our lives. What has been the most inspirational moment in your career so far? I feel very blessed that I've met and interviewed many people. And every single one of these people have uh, been an inspiration on some level or another, and I'm sure touched the audience. And it's, it's, it's hard to find people that are uh, that the audience will be moved by. It really is because everybody's moved by different things. That's why everything and everyone is important for different reasons. I would like to recreate, and I'm trying to uh, recreate a uh, modern day Asclepio, which is a center for health. And I'd like to do it in Greece and I'd like to do it on the island that I hail from, Kos. That's gonna be the first one. And I'm working with a group of doctors to try and do that because we want to present to visitors and of course Greeks alike and Cypriots a, a, to go back. We need to go back sometimes to go forward. So we need to go back into nature. We need to go back uh, into history and, and 
through a lot of these methods that will bring us back a little bit more balanced to nature and try and figure out what may be going on within ourselves that uh, is causing an imbalance of an illness of some sort of not only physical but mental so we need to understand that mind body whole uh, uh, theory is is Hippocrates theory and and this is what I um, try to represent I love the Cypriots and I love Cyprus and I cannot wait to get down there and 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 present you guys to the rest of the world.